What is up everyone? This is Cedric Sky Setti. I'm Becky. And welcome back to part two of our Q&A. This Q&A is gonna be focused on all the questions you guys sent us dealing with our relationship because apparently that's a hot topic. So we thought it'd be better to actually just make it into its own separate video. Mm -hmm. So we will say that we did get a lot of questions and we're gonna to try to get through most of them, if not all of them, but if we don't really cover your question in detail, we might make a separate video on that question. And some of these you guys asked the same question, so I kind of try to capture all the phrase in one go. I think we got a lot to cover, so we're just going to get started. Okay, let's get started. Where are you getting married? We all know. We don't know. I think it's a bit, yeah, it's a bit difficult at this point to say. Yeah, um, so the two places would be either Korea or the United States. We could have a destination wedding. Yeah. And then everyone could ride a cruise ship all around the world to get to there. Man, I ain't we going on any cruise long... ship for another 10 years. Oh, that's true. Never mind. <laughs> no cruise ships, guys. Yeah, I, so, so we've been talking about it. We, so family, most of our immediate family, they're all in the States. Mm -hmm. And our friends and some of her family as well, they're here in Korea. And then she has friends all over the world. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's kind of, we, we have to, hard. yeah, we have to figure out a creative solution to that. Cause we yeah. do want all of our significant people in our lives to be a part of what's gonna happen. So uh, yeah, we don't know. So we're gonna let you in on what we we are as we plan along yeah. but for sure it's gonna have to be a creative solution so if you have ideas let me know <laughs> what was the biggest obstacle you had to overcome in your relationship Ooh. the biggest obstacle what is it well what you had an obstacle and i had an obstacle really but i'm just saying <laughs> if you had um i think for me, it's communicating my thoughts and feelings. I think um, mm. that was an obstacle for me because I realized that I'm not really good at communicating how I feel and expressing that. Um, you are good. It's just in the moment. Oh, I guess. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, because I, I realized I didn't have a lot of opportunity or practice with that. Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, so I'm learning how to communicate those thoughts and feelings in different situations, like in the good, and also like if we have like a disagreement or something like that, um, or you know we're agitated or frustrated. Like those are the times where I can't really like express my thoughts. Mm -hmm. My biggest obstacle, I have to say, to be totally frank, is my selfishness, because. I'm very used to just being totally independent and doing everything, everything on my own. And I'm very just, okay, make the decision, good. I, I keep it as slim as possible. Mm -hmm. No additions. But when you're with someone else or you have to consider other people, there are additions and you have to take care of all of the things that come together with that. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of been interesting because I had to expand my mindset. What's your plans for the future as an engaged couple? Well, uh, figuring out how we're gonna actually get married and have the ceremony. Right. Um, I don't know, I mean, as an engaged couple, not too much different than before we were engaged. Like we were already starting to plan what we wanted to do together in the future. Mm. You know, we want to, say perhaps travel and uh, just be very independent with our work and film. Mm. We want to focus on our personal projects, uh, on the Happy Project, we want to write, produce uh, films and also do music. So I think that's sort of still the same. I think it's because you and I, our lives as individual people, we're going whoop, like this already. Mm -hmm. And so now we just tied the ribbon on top. Yeah. Mm. Is there anything that scares you about marriage? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> What's yours? Everything! <laughs> really? <laughs> Dang. <laughs> it's, it's like, because it's the unknown. I'm, I'm a little scared about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. For me, it's just her cheating on me. <laughs> Which I'm not, no, I'm not scared that you're going to yeah, do that. Yeah, scared indicates- Hold on, hold Whoa. on. 
Oh, so so not you in particular, but the the thought of like what scares me the most about marriage is my spouse, whoever that may be. In this case, it'd be. Wait, you. why are you saying whoever that may be? <laughs> Would cheat on me. You gave me this. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying I worry about. I actually don't worry about that. Yeah. You. But uh, if that were to happen, mm -hmm. uh, that would be like just horrible, devastating. Of course. Yeah. But other than that, you're not scared of anything. Uh, nothing major. Gosh, I'm scared of everything. Yeah. That I mean, but sense. I think that's the thing. It's this amount of scared, and then this amount of excited. So that's why it. Is. It's that's, that's not too much more than <laughs> this. I know, part. right? But it it encompasses it, so then I can hmm. handle that. We'll work on it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> At what point did you know you wanted to marry each other? Early on. Yeah, you. When did you know? I knew probably a couple of months in, and a couple of months in what? In well, a couple of months since in... meeting me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Was it that fast? Yeah, but we were already dating at that point. Like, cause we started dating a couple of months after we first met. Mm -hmm. So within that, sh the first, Three you know. Months? Yeah, I would say so. I knew I wanted to be with you for the long haul. Wow, that's fast. Mm. Yeah, I don't waste time, man. Wow. I know what I want. You know me? I didn't know. Until the day you proposed to me. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> yeah. Because I had have, I have effectively blocked the idea of the party. Until you actually... Till the, till I got that feeling. Well, you knew you wanted to be with me. I knew I wanted forever. to be with you, but being with somebody and getting married to somebody just feels different somehow. You know what I mean? Well... I guess uh, it's better late than never. Well, it's happening. How did Cedric know he wanted to propose? Um, I think, I think timing wise, I feel like COVID had a big part to play because essentially I felt like COVID in many ways sped up my plan to propose, but also extended it mm. in that um, you know, we weren't able to go back to the States to meet the families mm -hmm. and things like that. So we couldn't really like, like do a proper int introduction that way. So we right. had to do like Zoom calls and stuff. But, um, so from that, I felt like, oh man, it's taking so long. When's the next time, you know, we'll be able to go to the States as a family. But then because of COVID, we were like, man, when are we going to be able to like have a proper like ceremony and stuff like that? And just like, True. when's going to be the perfect time? And then I just like, you know, reason my head. There's never gonna really be a perfect time. Um, and with COVID, we we don't know how it's gonna look in six months, one year, two years. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Yeah. And of course we did the, how we got engaged story. And so if you wanted to hear the whole story you, you hear behind it. that, mm -hmm. then click this video right here and watch it after you watch this video, of course. Good one. Yeah, so that'll give you a greater insight into why I ended up proposing. Mm. Will we get more vlog style videos as you guys plan the wedding? Let's answer oh. at the same time, ready? One, two, three. Yes. yes. Yeah, very good question. We have not done a lot of vlogs together. We did just no, a handful. We yeah. Yeah. Um, and vlogging is something that I think we both enjoy doing, but a couple of things. Again, COVID. Everything's COVID. COVID, COVID, COVID. COVID, COVID, COVID. Yeah. Um, and so not only that, but, you know, we've been quite busy mm -hmm. with different things but i think moving forward hopefully soon yeah especially over the next few months we're gonna start to do more vlog oh, yes. style videos because we don't want to just sit behind a desk and just talk in every single video though we enjoy doing it mm -hmm. and hopefully you guys enjoy hearing it would be interesting for people to see mm -hmm. how the wedding planning goes yeah because yeah. it's gonna be very non-orthodox i think how we have to do things yeah juggling a lot of stuff yeah so we want to put together something that's really nice and entertaining for you guys to see fun. when you met for the first time what were your first impressions of each other oh good question great question so the scenario was at our mutual friend's son's one-year-old birthday birthday party mm -hmm. and um of course we made a video about that too 
And I think you were wearing your Tim's. Probably. I'm pretty sure you Yeah, were. yeah. With your jeans rolled up. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. Always. And your hair was long-ish. Longer. And it was just like psh, mm -hmm. hanging off the side of your head. So I remember the exact moment I saw you mm -hmm. because you were sitting at the table across the room at the wall over there and you were sitting, you were sitting next to Mika. Right, I was with Mika and Susan. I remember Mika, I remember seeing him just because we did a competition on who <laughs> right. could clap and cheer the loudest and he beat me. But um, I don't remember seeing Sujin on me. I think I was just distracted by you. <laughs> but I was, mm -hmm. I saw you sitting there. You're sitting against the wall, and you're just sitting with your shirt, and you stood out. And I looked, because I was scanning the room for people that I knew, and I didn't really know anyone. And then I looked, and I saw you, and I was like, Oh! He's half Korean. Oh, I gotta get him. That was just my, my very, very first instinct. And then I was waiting and waiting and waiting. Then I approached you, and then I remember thinking, He's got great teeth. Because <laughs> I love teeth. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you had great teeth. And I also thought you were a little shy. Really? Yeah, because you were like, yeah, mm hmm. And I could see you wanted to get away. But maybe it was just I was scaring you a little bit. But that was kind of it. Okay, so you said your thought was, I had to get him. I think you should explain the context. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I had to get I, him like a half Oh, yeah, that sounds really weird. <laughs> I went for the Happy Project, I wanted to interview him. Yeah. 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 But it, you know, I, yeah, when I came up close to you, I said, "Oh, he's got great teeth. Oh, he's also black." That mm -hmm. was that was my I think my second impression. My first impression was she cute. But I I That's didn't it. wash my hair. It's all right. Actually, your hair was very. I was wearing to, braids. Yeah, like what then. you do now. Yeah. Yeah, I just thought she was cute, but I at that point I wasn't like, oh, I'm interested. So yeah, that, you, that you came maybe two months later. You were distinctly not interested because yeah. you were trying to get away. I was trying to get my food. Yeah, she came up to me when I was in the food line getting my food. It was planned, pre-planned. Mm -hmm. What nicknames do you guys use for each other? We actually this a number of people ask this. Mm. Our nicknames for each other. Yeah. Okay, so you've probably heard me call him a number of different things, but I never call him. Cedric. It's so weird. It's weird it's for you weird. to say Cedric. It's just weird. Ooh. So what do you call me? So I call you, well I call you Opa, mm -hmm. which is like, it's a Korean thing for a guy who's older than a girl and you're close. And I also call you Coco because that was your secret code name when I was talking with my girlfriends about you mm -hmm. and I didn't want you to know. So I called him Coco, but then he figured it out. Right. I mean, it's not that hard. <laughs> it's kind of obvious. But um, anyway, you're in, so I always call you Coco. Mm -hmm. And then somehow it moved over into, why did I call you Cookie? I don't know. Why did I do that? There was something behind it, but I don't really call you Cookie. Mm -hmm. I call you Cooks. <laughs> yeah. And I just shortened it. That's true. So I'm like, hey, Cooks, Coco, Opa. Mm -hmm. those, those are the three words. Yeah. I just call her Becky. Ew, no you don't! <laughs> no, I just say babe. Yeah. I keep it classic. Babe. Sometimes, baby. <laughs> if you move back to the US one day, where do you think you will live? Hmm. That's a great question too. I think, uh, well, I don't think we have yeah. a place that we talked about in mind, but yeah. I would want to live probably, if money's right, on the West Coast. Arizona. Oh, <laughs> no, <just kidding. laughs> not the wrong Arizona. It's too hot though. Um, I would probably want to live either in Cali mm -hmm. or um, New York City. No, <laughs> not me. He keeps shooting me down. Nah, New York City is okay. Only if I don't want to live only there. Only if though. you're really rich. And even then, I don't want to live. There. Really? Yeah. What if you have a private helicopter to take you everywhere? Nah. Um. Yeah. I. So I would say definitely Cali. Uh, I don't I don't know where in Cali, mm -hmm. not LA, I don't think, but uh, either that or, I don't know, I recently got interested in Hawaii. Yes, I would totally be keen for Hawaii. Yeah. There's so many hapas there. Mm, right. We could continue interviewing there too, which would be great. Mm. Oh, Hawaii's a good idea. We'll think about it. We would love to know if you guys are goal setters. What does that process look like for you? We are goal setters. Yeah, so we already set like financial goals. We set goals for um, 
like our individual projects. Mm. Well, not so much like super defined yet with those, like with half a project or with this channel, but yeah. we do have goals. Um, but yeah, mostly financial goals, I think. Mm, for you, yeah. So the process for me is usually just just birthed out of me, just me always thinking about my future and always thinking about how can I get to where I want to go. Yeah. And then sort of reverse engineering and just figuring out what steps I need to take mm -hmm. and then breaking it down into time. So, uh, for example, I have certain financial goals, or I should say we have financial goals now oh, yeah. uh, by the end of the year. And we have an idea of how we're going to achieve that. So that's one example. So always, like, I always have to either write it down or type it out mm. in some sort of like a document or something like that. Yeah. So I can visualize it. So that is the process for me. But I think my process has kind of evolved over the years to basically what I do now, which mm. isn't anything fancy. But you keep your goals in general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I, for me, I just write them down repeatedly. Mm -hmm. I really stand by the belief that if you want to instill something in your mind or make something come into reality is You just have to keep saying it. I, I do really believe in that. Yeah. And this is, goes into my leadership style with a leadership team always emphasizing getting it. Well, this is who we are. This is what we do. This is why you're part of the team because what it does is it, it actually creates it into a real life. And I think it's the same thing with goals. What role has religion played in your relationship? Cedric seems very religious in an American Christian kind of way. Have either of you tried to experience Buddhist philosophy? Um, I think, let's see, I, I guess religion has good, a... Because we never talk about religion on our channel. Nah, nah. Yeah. But um, Christianity would be the biggest influence. Mm -hmm. And I think it plays a huge part in our relationship because yeah. we have the same worldview, same perspective, um, and we talk about it all the time. Mm -mm. Um, yeah, and so... We actually, you invited me to your church. Yeah. In the very beginning days, and you know. Well, I didn't. You were the... I didn't know you if you were a Christian or not. Yeah. And then I was attending a church in Seoul, and then I asked you, "Hey, I don't know if you have a church in Seoul. I don't know if you go to church, but it's a great place to make friends. And I know you're new to Seoul. You want to come with me sometime?" I wasn't even living in Seoul. I know, and you came. I did because I thought she's cute. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie. This was this was missionary dating, right? <laughs> I guess so. No, but like, yeah. So, um, so yeah, it, it plays a huge role. Yeah. And as far as like Buddhist philosophy, no, haven't um, dabbled into that or anything like that. No. Yeah, because oh. you know I have my worldview. Yeah. Uh, I have my reasons for believing. So. Mm -mm. I, th I think religion is very important in our life, but again, it, it can get contentious because I think a lot of people have a different idea or emotion stacked with the word religion yeah so we don't want to go too much into that in this video but it is very important in our lives respectively and also as a couple because of shared worldviews and shared values right. which is so key to having a healthy relationship i'd say and as to the buddhist philosophies yeah totally looked into that i actually studied religion wait you, you did too right did you study different religions uh not Officially, I've read books. Oh, okay. Stuff. Yeah, because I took some classes where we would study different religions and worldviews, mm. and I definitely think there's a lot to be learned from all kinds of groups of people and the way that they think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But we could go into more another time. Will your wedding be a traditional Korean style or a US style wedding? I would say probably there's going to be elements of both. Mm. Yeah, um, again, so. we don't know exactly uh, how it's gonna look just yet or where it's gonna be for that matter But definitely elements of our cultures will be in there mm -hmm. For sure and I've attended weddings around the world and every time I go I notice certain things that I really like and I want to incorporate some of those things, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah Like I said, it's not gonna be very conventional. How many children do you guys want to have? like nine or ten no how many do you want to have hey, it's not nine or ten by the way <laughs> that was a joke hmm that I have to have <laughs> yeah <laughs> I don't know I think I'm curious what they would look like they gonna look good well yeah they gonna look cute but I'm just curious I'm curious what they would look like, but I don't want to go through the whole, you know? That's not the, the question though. Well, that's part of having children. How many of 
them do you want to have? Oh, I don't know. I also want to adopt. Mm-hmm. So I don't really know. I don't know. Because your mind might change after you have one. Mm-hmm. You might be like, that's it. <laughs> How many? Three or four. Probably, probably three. Three is a good number. Yeah, I would be okay with two. Three would be a good number. For me. I feel like three is just, just you know, good. Hmm. Because two, not always. Because one of them would be like, leave me alone, and the other one's lonely. But then they can go to the other third one. Like, hey, let's hang. Okay? Yeah, I think three is a good number. Yeah. And preferably similar in age. Mm, yeah, sure. Not too far apart. Mm-hmm. So you guys will probably see this whole journey of us sorting through all of this. I'm sweating. <laughs> How did you know each other was the one? I don't know. As cliche as it sounds, I just... I just knew. I just knew. How do you know you know? Well, so I think for me, it was the, the fact that we were able, especially early on, we were able to just talk for hours and hours Mm -hmm. and the fact that I didn't want to like I didn't get tired of talking Um, you know even if we're at a cafe we've been there for three hours four hours which happened um, I didn't want to leave you know what I mean Uh, so that was a good sign Um, the fact that I found her interesting the fact that I felt like we were very compatible and of course our world views were the same I think that was also a very big factor. Are we still interesting? Yeah, of do you, course. Do you ever get tired talking to me? I don't. So here's the thing. I don't get tired of her. Mm-hmm. Um, like we spend so much time together. We work together. We just like, and I don't get tired of her. So that to me is a good sign. I know a lot of couples, sometimes they need a break from each other or mm-hmm. they need their space, which we give ourselves, you know, the space that we need, I mm-hmm. think. Um, You know, but they kind of need their space and that's totally cool. But I noticed that I didn't really need that or want that. So yeah, yeah, that was a good sign for me. Yeah. Many people had told me, you're going to need to stay away. You're going to need your own thing. And I think it is true, but I never felt yet that I just wanted to be away from you. Mm. Mm. And I knew you were the one because you can sing and dance and play guitar and the drums and the piano. Did you know that was on my list? I didn't really have a list, but yeah. but that was up there. And my friends were like, you want them to be able to do all of this? I said, yes. And then when you said, oh, I, I played the drums. I was like, do you? What else do you play? You're like, well, I also play the piano. I'm like, do you? <laughs> he said, yeah, and I sing. Yeah. I'm like, do you? It was it was a moment mm-hmm. when you said drums. It was a moment. Yeah, I guess that's how we knew. Among I guess other things. Of but. course, there were more things. <laughs> that's all the questions we have for today. We love the questions that you guys send us. It's so interesting, and I think it's cool that we can have this open type of discussion um, because I'm sure that some people are curious about this kind of relationship, but not really sure where to ask. So we love that you guys feel comfortable to ask us questions because we love talking about it as well. So always be sure to leave any comments or questions you have below this video and do follow us on all social media. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for more things like this video, share with your friends, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Remember to always seize the day. Seize it. Peace.